Hi guys, this is Jan and welcome to the new 3D Quick Tips video. With this one we will start a short series about Maya customization. In the first video will be about the UI. We will talk about the workspaces, we will talk about the shelves and at the end I will give you a few of my personal tips. In Maya 2017 the workspaces were introduced which kind of change how we customize Maya. So let's start with workspaces. Let's switch Maya workspace to modeling expert which is just one huge panel and it allows us to customize everything right now so if we want to add panels to our ui we go to windows and ui elements general editors whatever we want to add so i want to add let's say shelf so ui elements shelf i want to add attribute editor and i want to add channel box I can either leave it as a floating window or just drag it and dock it over here. I can drag it and dock it over here. It's up to you. What I want to do is put it here, switch the tab orientation to the right and with just a single left mouse button click I can collapse that. I also want to add outliner and this is a UI I want to use as my modeling default so i would go to workspace save current layout or current workspace as jj model once i switch back to my classic it will open all of the panels all of the the menus over here but i can switch to my workspace and it will be nice and clean there are a couple more options. If you go to window workspaces and op open the option box, you can link your own hotkeys per workspace, etc. Just go through those by yourself. I can even open like a floating window and leave it in here, put it on my second monitor uh, and store it together with the layout. So let's open the UI, let's say, uh, UV editor, put that over here and I will save that as JJ sorry JJ UV and every time I switch to the workspace it will automatically open that window exactly where I saved it which is awesome so you can have your dual monitor set up with all the windows depending on a task you are actually doing so that's about workspaces. It's really simple, really powerful though. The next topic I want to talk about is creating a custom shelves. Let's go to the, this gear icon and create a new shelf. There are actually three ways how to populate your shelf. The first one is going to these menus and shift control and left click the command or shift command left click on Mac and it will add that command into your shelf, whatever that command is. That's the first one. The second one is actually going to the script editor and having your script over here, over here and clicking the add to shelf button and naming the script, which will be added over here. And the last option, which is actually my favorite, is going to your text editor, selecting the script and just dragging that to the shelf. Maya will ask you what type of that script is, in this case it's Mel, and the script is in our shelf again. You can edit the script names, icons or whatsoever in the shelf editor over here. So let's name it to Taurus and we have it over there. We can add the separator actually from the bonus tools create and create separator on shelf. We can arrange the buttons with the middle drag but we cannot move the separator with the middle drag. We have to go to shelf editor select the separator and with these arrows we can move the separator around. And I also want to mention that with the latest update of the UV editor you can turn on the custom shelf in the UV editor. 
So just go to view, custom shelf, and you can either just drop the stuff from your current shelf with the middle button, middle mouse button, or just go through these menus and shift command click on a Mac or once again shift control click on PC. So that's for the shelves. And right now it's time for those tricks I've promised you. The first trick is actually stolen from Softimage and it's for repeating commands. So let's say I want to smooth these spikes and for whatever reason I want to flip their normals. And I want to do the same for these claws. Instead of going to mesh again, clicking the smooth again, I can just middle click the top menu label and it will smooth those, do the same in this and it will flip the normals. So it will basically repeat the last command in the menu. So if I want to flip them back, just middle click and done. So that's the first tip. The second tip is about customizing the pop-up or how would you call that modeling menus so from the marking menu I choose the bevel edge and it will give me this pop-up you can actually customize it not just by dragging this but you can click this little icon and turn on or off the parameters you want displayed in here which is really handy and there is also a precision mode. You can just left mouse and drag on these buttons to uh, iterate over the number. But when you hold the control and do the same thing, it will iterate in the lower digits. So you have more precision. And that control and hold actually works on any UI number input so that's a that's a precision mode it's control and drag and the last trick is actually about the outliner you can open the outliner from here and but what if you want more outliners you cannot just go to the window and click the outliner because this one is still here and it's the only one you can open I have a trick which I use quite often to do that. You can switch your layout to two panels, switch one panel to outliner. So you have two. What if you want to three outliners? You can tear the copy of that panel off and you have three outliners. And each one of them is independent. You can also drag this line up and you have another outliner. However, these two outliners are now linked. So if I close the hierarchy over here, it will close over there, but not in here. So for if you have really complex hierarchies, you are dragging stuff around, renaming, and you want to see multiple objects like listed in here and different object listed in here, you can open the outliners like I've showed you. So this was actually the first part of the Maya customization. The next part will be about hotkeys and then about marking menus, which is a super important part of Maya. And the last one will be actually about migrating all your settings to different Maya installation, either if it's your machine or the studio machine, how to package all your settings and move them to other Maya. So thank you for your attention. If you like the video, just subscribe to the channel because there is more coming. Follow me on social media and see you at the next one. Thanks.